Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, uh, before before I show you this video, I got to uh, shatter your expectations here. Uh, that thumbnail is it up there? That uh, is not entirely accurate. Uh, these are plasma rounds, but the real plasma rounds are actually uh, spectacularly boring. Uh, there's almost no muzzle flash because when you put a plasma round through this thing. There's a little tiny section of metal foil and that gets instantly vaporized and that gets accelerated out. Um, but there's no cloud of metal plasma because all of that cloud of metal plasma is cooled by the time it exits the rails. So this is a, it's a fairly efficient uh, way to fire this thing because all that energy gets converted to pressure. It, it's just a pressure wave. Nonetheless, uh, it is a very scary uh, round. I mean, we, we took this thing made out of uh, Delrin. Um, and this thing weighed less than a gram and it went all the way through the cantaloupe you know put a hundred milligram round through a, a melon uh, you know I don't even think uh, you know a little BB weighs that little you know this thing is really light and it's really big and it's traveling really fast uh, so it can do it can do quite a bit of damage, um, but it's just not it's not that impressive of a flash. Um, so now we're, I'm going to show you uh, how this thing works and uh, enjoy. As you can see, this is just a piece of Delrin with a nylon uh, screw at the back, and we've got a little piece of copper uh, foil near the back. All right, so here we go. I'm going to take this guy, and there's the breech down there. I'm just going to put that guy in there, slide it forward, and uh, yeah, let's hope that works. Alright guys, we're going to try a few more times, plasma around 400 bullets. Here we go. Whatever did happen, uh, the amount of energy expended was very minimal. Um, that plasma round um, weighed less than a gram, and it only expended about uh, 100 joules of energy. So, you know, a very small amount, and yet it went pretty deep. I'm gonna have to cut this thing open, but. Um, Holy sh! It went through. Holy sh! It went through and through. What the? F what? And there's debris all over that. What the? F all right, guys. So on another note, um, let me show you something else that's interesting. This little black mark—that's actually the screw. It looks like it blasted the cap off of the screw. There's nothing else in there. It was just the cap. All right, here we go. We found, I found the round. Um, looks like the uh, the back snapped right off. The copper sheet turned completely into plasma and ripped the head off of that nylon bolt very cleanly. Um, I don't know how. I don't know if you know how much force it takes to tear nylon, but uh, I got some of these bolts here. Let me just show you how much force it takes. So yeah, I've got one of those bolts clamped in this vise here. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna try and tear it off. And I've got a I've got a pliers right here. I can't I can't tear it. You know, I'm putting all of my weight into this. I can't pull it off. Uh, let, me, let me get something a little stronger. Um, I got this ratcheting pliers here. I'm try to pull pull this nylon bolt apart. But yeah, there we go. So the ratcheting pliers did it, but that you know, <laughs> nylon is a very very strong material. That probably took uh, you know half my weight. Nylon is uh, not easy to snap. Alright guys, we're going to try this uh, plasma round one more time because I had the connector loose. We got the cantaloupe uh, taped back up again. Alright, here we go. 
400 volts plasma round. Three, two, one. Alright guys, so looks like we got another through and through, just like the last time. Alright guys, thanks for watching, uh, stay tuned for more videos. See ya.